Right, short division. Some people think division is hard, but basically it all comes down to whether you know your times tables well enough, and obviously the division facts that go with that. So if you don't know, sh um, if you think short division is tricky, then have a look at the multiplication, the times tables pack that I've got, because that'll help you massively. You need to know your times tables to be able to do division. If you know it, it's dead easy. So short division, success criteria, two questions you ask yourself all the way through. How many times does it fit in and what's left over? So how many times does it fit in what's left over? I'll show you what I mean by those two things. So if I've got 695 divided by 5. So we do the bus stop method, short division. 695. The first number goes underneath the bus stop. And the 5 goes at the front of the bus stop. Now he's trying to get end of the bus stop obviously. So we've got, first question, 5. How many times does 5 fit in the 6? It fits in once. And what's left over? 1 times 5 is 5, so from 6, 1 is left over, so carry that to the next number. Then you ask the same question again. How many times does 5 fit into 19 this time? Because the 1 and the 9 makes it 19. So we know it fits in 3 times. Because 4 times would be 20, which would be too many. So 3 times 5 is 15. What's left over, second question, is 4. And finally, how many times does 5 fit into 45? fits in nine times. What's left over? Nothing. So my answer is 139. Let's try another one. So what? how many times does it fit in? What's left over? So 2316 divided by 4. So 2316, first number goes underneath the bus stop, divided by 4. So again, 4. How many times does it fit in? doesn't fit in the 2. What's left over? The 2's left over, so we carry the 2. Again, Next number. How many times does it fit in? Tw 4 and 23 goes 5 times. What's left over? 5 times 4 is 20. So from 23 there would be the 3 left over. Now 4 into 31. How many times does 4 fit into 31? Because I know what times it was well, I know it's 7 times. Because 7 times 4 is 28. Which means we've got 3 left over again. And finally, how many times does 4 fit into 36? It fits in nine times with nothing left over. So my answer is 579. So how many times does it fit in what's left over? Let's have a go at this one. So it's 2526 divided by six. Pause it, have a little go. I'm going to go through the answer in three, two, one. So 2526 underneath the bus stop. Put the six at the front. So how many times does it fit in? The two, it doesn't fit in. What's left over? Two's left over, so carry the two. Six, now I end the 25. How many times does it fit in? It fits in four times. Four times six is 24. And there's one left over from 25. Now, six into 12. How many times does six fit into 12? Six, 12 fits in two times. Nothing left over. Finally, six into six goes one time with nothing left over. So answer is 420. One.